Good evening, everybody. We are live and very excited to be bringing you Oliver Holloway, one of our uh, amazing executive coaches. We've worked with Oliver for several years now, haven't we? Um, and uh, always love talking to Oliver because I always learn so much and uh, find um, your energy just, uh, especially today, I must say, after five weeks in lockdown, uh, today is a good day for me to end it listening to some of your very interesting tales I know are coming up. Um, Oliver recently, as you can probably tell from her, her write-ups, has uh, climbed um, a mountain with the, the famous Iceman Wim Hof in nothing more than shorts. And I'm sure you're wearing boots, right? Uh, mountain I was boots. wearing boots, but there were some people that weren't even wearing boots. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go there. Let's go there. Um, but the, the idea with tonight is is really for Oliver to sort of tell us these amazing tales, but also, I mean, the whole point and, and Oliver, you've shown me the Wim Hof breeding methods in the office. I remember uh, about a year and a bit ago, actually, um, <laughs> using with, with our clients for quite a long time. And it's something that you, buy, you know, biohacking was kind of it's it's real gross term isn't it it's it, it it was something i also i don't really quite know what it is it sounds cool um but uh so really the point tonight oliver is that we want to hear your fantastic stories but also um it's it's really sort of how you use these techniques with your clients and and especially now i mean people are dealing with um i just spoke to somebody just before this mm -hmm. who's dealing with you know huge stress of sort of will he or will he not be made redundant and just the, the stress of being confined and it's all sort of getting on top um, of, of the person I just spoke with, which, you know, mm. most of us are in are on some kind of spectrum of that right now. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing how uh, you can help us with those. So, um, Oliver, uh, do you want to sort of give us maybe kind of start us off with a little bit about your relationship with Wim Hof and even how you came to find him? Um, and, and, you know, I can't wait to hear more about this climbing up the mountain with no T-shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, first, first of all, I was introduced to Wim Hof. It must have been about four years ago. I got a book for Christmas with a guy on the front of it sitting on some ice from my little brother. And I was like, what on earth is this? Um, and I didn't read it. It sat for about a year in my, in my bookshelf. Um, but as you know, I've always, I mean, I was talking to Ev, Evelyn about this. I'm absolutely obsessed with trialing, testing all of the top techniques on myself, with my clients, with anyone who's interested in, in, in learning about them. And I've tried everything, you know, from the standard meditation through to some really sort of quite crazy things. But this is definitely my favorite technique that I've ever come across, particularly, you know, in at the moment with everything going on, it's which I'll come will come into in a bit. But yeah. the benefits are fabulous from everything from stress reduction through to immunity. But I will go on to that in a little bit. So maybe if I give a bit of an idea of some of the things that I could cover tonight. So I might talk around the actual adventure of climbing up a mountain with Wim Hof. I'll talk a little bit around the technique. I can talk a little bit. It won't be too long, but tell you on the science. Why does it work? What does it do? Yeah. And if I haven't even passed this by you yet, but actually, would it be all right to show everyone five minutes? It's quite yeah. fun trying it live. And and what my, my favorite things that my clients use it for. I'd love to share that, too, and go a tiny bit on the cold training. And then later, if we have time, go on some other biohacking, my favorite stuff that I do. And you ask what biohacking is. I mean, there's, there's lots of there's still lots of extreme levels of biohacking, but I, everything I do is natural. And it's very much around using techniques and science to really boost your physiology, your mental focus, your physical fitness, basically quick, simple longevity, all these things to give you the biggest benefit for uh, yourself. So that's sort of what I'd sum up uh, biohacking as but I will come more into that later. So, so to get, get to the adventure part first. I think that's... Absolutely. So, really, you know, I'll, I'll start with... That's, right in there. That's, yeah. a, that's, that's a great opener, I think, to understand. Yeah. You know, I can just climbing up a mountain. It was yeah. very... I, I hear it, it. It certainly was. I mean... Um, I mean, actually, maybe if I just start with a little bit around Wim Hof. I mean, this yeah. is... 
Yeah. So I'm hugely into these performance techniques. And this really piqued my experience because he's got over 20 world records. He climbed Everest. Yeah. Everest without a guide in shorts. So that really piqued my interest. He does Kilimanjaro in one in one day without even acclimatizing, injects himself with the neurovirus and can breathe through it. So there's some really interesting things on immunity and strength. Um, and maybe if I go a tiny bit into the into the method as well. So it's around breathing and cold and a bit on commitment. We'll leave the commitment part out for now. Um, but yeah, the Wim Hof method has been designed by a guy, strange enough, called Wim Hof. And it's generally around the breathing and the cold. Um, but you asked me around the why. Why did I want to climb a frozen mountain with with Wim Hof? I mean, it's nuts. What, who would ever choose to do that? And I must admit, if I remember back to January, I remember thinking that very same thing. It's like, what the hell am I doing? Just before I decided to look on my phone to see how long it takes you to get frostbite. And it's about 30 minutes at those temperatures. And we were going up there for three to four hours. That's how long the actual trek is to the top. And so what kind of temperatures are you talking? Um, it, uh, with the wind chill, it's minus 15 to minus 25. Wow. And it, it's the, the, I mean, it was so insanely, insanely cold. And they take you up to this small uh, little retreat. Well, it's not really a retreat. It's a tiny little village with some sort of cabins where you do all of the training. And you rock up there and Wim Hof comes in. He's a huge character, really passionate about what he does. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, this looks like this is going to be seriously challenging stuff. So I hope there's some serious structure in here. And he rocks into the room and says, OK, we haven't got a plan for anything, but we're going to we're going to climb a motherfucking mountain in five days. And everyone's looking at each other thinking, well, I hope there's some form of program here because most of us coming. Yeah. You know, I, I do. I have been doing training for a while. So I've got a group of biohackers in Walton on Thames. We jump in the Thames and we do that every Saturday morning at 630. So I have some cold training experience, but we're talking around five minutes in a river as opposed to almost four hours up a mountain. So it's a really tiny remote village. And, you know, despite the fact he was sort of quite sort of, no, you won't get too much. You know, there's not too much of a sort of program to it. Actually, it, it was brilliant. Absolutely incredible. So you spend about an hour doing the breathwork technique. And as you know, from, and I'll show you everyone later, the breathwork technique is incredibly intense. If you do it for an hour, you, <laughs> it's almost, um, and I've been looking a lot into this, altered states you actually get to such a place of clarity, big picture thinking. So you're doing that once a day, then you're doing everything from jumping in local rivers, um, going into waterfalls, and, um, and the water still runs, thankfully, but it was so freezing cold. And then they do other training, like you go from a sauna to an ice bath, sauna, ice bath, sauna, yeah. ice bath. And we did that for about three days and we were supposed to climb on our fifth day. And then he rocks up in the morning and says, everyone, get your kid together. We're going a day early. And you're just like, <laughs> Of course he does. I, I hope that people watching know who Wim Hof is because he, he is such, I've seen Russell Brand actually do interview him. And they, they were in a river, exactly. And then they were warming up and Russell Brand thought it was really funny that Wim Hof was just making it up as he was going along. And there mm. was no plan, like a childhood. And I just, you know, that's kind of the beauty of him. In it is. But I mean, he has, he has an, an, an incredible formula and he has some really brilliant people that uh, work with him. So they yeah. put the structure in around yeah. him. And, but, but I mean, you, you, you do stuff that, you know, it was about, must have been seven or eight meters. They, you, you climb up to the top of these ledges and jump in just next to the waterfall. And there's like jagged rocks on one side, something else the other side, but hey, everyone else is doing it. Let's just do it. So it's all very much around really pushing you to your furthest part of your, your comfort zone. 
Um, but you get your crampons on. So literally, we were told, no, you're not doing the normal cold training today. You're going up the mountain today. So we all rush off, get our crampons on, get all of your, well, I was going to say gear on, but there wasn't much gear going on, to be honest. <laughs> it's just shorts. Uh, most of us in swimming trunks or swimming costumes, boots, and actually, I, I, we did have hats on. So you know, we did have some form of kit. And then you just just start walking. You're all in buddies. So, I mean, that was something that they, they do take the safety quite um, seriously. Yeah, so you've got the person next to you. So you're looking after someone. So if you see that their hands are going blue or they're not breathing in a proper way, um, and then we're just breathing through our nose because that that really reduces the amount of heat you lose. So if you want a really freezing day, breathe through your nose and you do the Wim Hof breathing, but in a very slow, rhythmical way. And you just walk through this incredible, I mean, when you first start doing it, it's almost painful on the skin as you're walking. It's so cold and it just, it's cleverly done because it's getting colder every step because you're going higher, but then you're getting more accustomed to it and you're getting more into the zone and Wim Hof's up front, it was almost four hours, and you just go. And it's just- And how big is the group, Holly? Sorry? How big is the group? How many people are in I the group? Had, um, it was 27, uh, tw 27 in, in our group, but they're expanding it and expanding it. So if ever this is something you're thinking of doing, do it sooner rather than later, because soon yeah. they'll be sending hundreds of people up and it'll start to lose its magic, I think. But still, I mean, the yeah. training was incredible. And it's, I, th I think the biggest thing of all, you know, the, the first thing is just the breathing. It's absolutely felt like it rewired my brain in, it, I, I came out of it in such a space of clarity. And the other bit, I think from it, the bigger picture, although he doesn't mention this, is the fact if you can do that, what the hell can you not do? If you can climb a mountain in that temperature. So yeah, you get the right people around you, you do the training and you just go for it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty uh, cool, cool stuff. And, and um, just question in terms of what, what, how, you know, how did it change you when you came back to normal, to, to, to your normal life? Like how, you know, how, what, what, what impact has it left on you? I think the biggest thing is that I'm sharing it with so many more people than I ever did. And it's, because of the chemical changes that it does for you, doing the breathing work for sort of, if you do an hour stint, um, it's really fascinating. It brings, um, because it, you go really deep into your reptilian brain when you just keep breathing, you keep this rhythmic cycle, it brings up emotional things from the past, things that you didn't even know you had stored in your mind or were issues for you. And it allows you to have that clarity and deal with some of those. So I came back with, and I, I thought I was pretty good being a coach and having worked with loads of awesome coaches myself. I thought I was pretty clear on, you know, getting rid of uh, a number of barriers, but it really, really did help shift some really big things for myself. Um, wow. And I, I find, you know, um, a lot of my clients, when I'm using it, it's just, you know, maybe a five, 15 minute thing you might use for a morning routine or to wake yourself up uh, during the afternoon. But when you go into it deeper, um, you know, particularly doing it for an hour a day for five days in a row. It is incredible how you just, it, it, it's almost like when you meditate for a huge amount of times, but the intensity of it mm. is, yeah. Um, yeah, really, really. And just, just for the people that are watching, obviously some, some of, I mean, this is fantastic to hear about the, I think Wim Hof, the techniques, obviously your experience with it and through the work that you've done with so many clients as well. I mean, you, I don't think there's many clients you haven't shared it with, whether or not they take it up or not or take it seriously is another story. But how does this relate? I mean, one of the big um, trends at the moment is obviously immune health. And you know, as we know, coronavirus is is um, is a respiratory um, virus. How can this be used to help people to develop immune health? And definitely, I mean, I, I would just say people are fairly healthy. I mean, let, let, I, I think a good way to look at it is not just uh, to look at immune health. Look at life in general, where it's going. 
I mean, the challenges we face on a daily basis. I mean, it's not only the coronavirus at the moment. The modern world keeps us so switched on and it's almost continuous. And the way I look at it, it's almost like a car that we never turn off. And we risk this overheating, this incredible wear and tear, potential burnout. And it's really not good for our health. It's not good for our performance. And combine it with the fact that actually a lot of the time we breathe really, really shallowly. We're not breathing deeply. We're not getting the oxygen that, that we actually need. Um, and it, it's, it's fascinating when you look at the science behind it, you know, the, the breathing mechanism, it's, it's controlled or by the autonomic nervous system, but the breath is one of the few things that you can actually take control of. You know, you can't sort of say, oh, I'm just going to take control of my digestion. It, it doesn't work like that. But this is one you can actually control um, yourself. And it's divided into two things. There's a sympathetic, which is when you're on the flight, the, the fight and flight and all that. And you've got the parasympathetic, which is that rest and digest and that relaxed state where we repair, where the immune system starts working and being powered up. But because we're continuously in the sympathetic nervous system, we're on all the time, be it the television that we're watching is stimulating us or the next coronavirus update, or that we're just in a seriously, seriously stressful point with everything we've got to be doing in our jobs, this is continuous stimuli. And the thing I love about the Wim Hof method is when you do it, it brings you from the sympathetic very, very quickly into the parasympathetic nervous system and because it's such a almost intense technique it does it very very quickly as well and you also get this brilliant added benefit the feel-good chemicals dopamine serotonin oxytocin adrenaline all of those pumping through within just a couple of minutes so when they were looking at this they found that they can use this to help them get into relaxed, uh, you know, reduce stress. Um, it increases your O2 max. So when you're exercising, that's, that's great for it as well. And it also helps you um, because you go into the parasympathetic, the rest and digest, it really helps build up your immune system as well. It puts you in a place where the body can start to repair. It puts you in a place where you know, all everyone talks about inflammation so much at the moment well unless if you're in the, the go 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 fl fight and flight the whole time you don't get that time to repair and that's what i love around this technique i use it so much it's almost like this cycle breaker so i use it in the morning i use it in the evening or just if you've just got something incredibly intense to do so yeah i mean just I've got lots of sort of personal stories I've heard from clients and myself, but as you know, I used to have migraines all of the time. It would be at least once a month. and I rarely get them at all since I've been um, doing the Wim Hof method. Um, also fairly certain I even got the coronavirus maybe a couple of weeks back. My, I mean, I'll talk around biohacking. This aura ring tells me my temperature, but it went up over two degrees, uh, which is quite a heavy temperature increase. And I just, did loads and loads and loads of Wim Hof breathing. Um, I mean, quite a lot of Wim Hof breathing. And uh, I, whatever it was, um, my temperature was back down within a day. So uh, it's quite, 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 quite exciting for me what's possible uh, with it. Um, and, so. and Oliver, I think it's worth mentioning because I think Wim Hof for anybody, and we have a question also. Sarah that we need to get to but um Wim Hof is obviously he is a huge character he's incredibly mm. eccentric he's funny um and he's kind of in some ways he's kind of whimsical you know he's quite kind of flippant a little bit is, is absolutely but he also is really um he he is very much I mean he works with scientists he's been tested I think they 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 injected him with E. coli I was reading and yeah. in that condition yeah. And he used his breathing to essentially reject the um, mm. uh, getting that or getting E. coli. But he, tell us a little bit about the scientific aspect to his work. I mean, for you, obviously, you, you're a student of his and you've been mm. doing this thing, the impact of your own life. Um, another point I would love to hear about is 
how have you seen other people? I mean, you're a coach, so you know, I think sometimes people kind of think, oh, you're a coach, like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it's, it's going to work for you, but will it um, work for you? People, I think sometimes, you know, I, I, I do get, get people sort of saying, well, you know, if I was doing it, or um, it would be great to hear some examples of some of the clients that you've worked with who, you know, how did it help them? Yeah, I mean, for in, in relation to clients, I mean, particularly at the moment, um, they're using it in multiple ways. As, as I was alluding to earlier, you know, it can be everything as, as small as just waking yourself up in the afternoon. I mean, when I go through it in a minute and show everyone, yeah. you really get a huge amount of energy from it. So when you're getting that afternoon, oh my goodness, I can't even wake myself up, you know, to trying to work, your efficiency's not there, your creativity's there, you do that and you can alter your state very, uh, very quickly. Also, I mean, I was talking to a client just this morning and it's in the morning as well. A number of my clients are like, yeah, I just find it's really hard to get started in the morning. I'm at half speed, but you do one round of Wim Hof and they use it religiously now just to move from this half zombified state to, yeah, really energized, really. Um, I mean, I haven't even talked around cold, cold showers. I mean, so, some of the, the, the my uh, local uh, biohackers that, that, that I sort of um, jump in the Thames with uh, for them, you know, a couple of them that, that are jumping in, say it's just literally makes their whole weekend you go into that that place that you go into when you're into the cold and it's the the afterwards the energy you feel from it and you just feel so revitalized and i haven't talked around the cold yet but you go and have and we'll explain how you can do this later but you only need to have 30 seconds to two minutes of cold shower and afterwards you feel so i mean it's horrible while you're doing it even now you've got to be completely honest but afterwards the energy that that you feel um and the additional alertness and yeah it makes your white blood cells go mad because effectively the body's like oh my god i'm, I'm being being attacked here what, what why are you in the ice uh, the ice cold uh, your shower water let's get out but you're not you're sitting there you're just relaxing you're breathing into it and yeah it, it's brilliant for also um that commitment side of things that Wim Hof often says for really building up your decision fatigue almost. So a lot of the time we've got X amount of decisions. We've got X amount of motivation in us. If we're doing these things like a cold shower every day, it makes other things seem relatively easier as well. It's funny because the, the cold shower thing I've been, I, my grandmother used to say have at the end of your shower, have switch it to to you know the coldest you can go and it was it was mm. to boost your immune system actually it was that was really i remember mm. when I was younger but i started doing it in the lockdown because you know that kind of claustrophobic confined mm. feeling actually it's helped me a lot and kim sprague one of the um one of the other executive coaches last night she was mentioning that she's been using it so um it's obviously mm. kind of awful a bit right now Let, yeah. let's do we've got a question from there. with athletes as well you see the trend with it all of the top athletes post doing absolutely top performance going as fast as they can it's one of the things that they that they do to recover uh yeah. from uh, absolutely training that some people you know you can't even imagine some of the training that some of these athletes do and you don't have to go and spend 80 pounds in some top of the range London cryo chamber. You can just go to a cold shower. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other thing is Tony Robbins has a plunge pool. He he uses um, the kind of cold plunge, which I'm sure he, he must have gotten from Wilhoff. But if, if it's good enough for Tony Robbins, I think uh, it's something for all of us. But Sarah yeah. has asked Oliver, do you teach the breathing or the whole method as part of your coaching sessions? Absolutely do. Um, it's I think it's quite fundamental as well. I mean, one of the things, um, I mean, we're always talking around mindset and things like this. Um, the moment you get in that more creative, that more clarity space, that more relaxed space, suddenly all the ideas come. You see things from different ways, and it's just such a beautiful addition to all of the other work that one does. So absolutely, I do. And what I particularly love is doing, 
Uh, and depending on the client, um, a half an hour of Wim Hof breathing and then going into a really big picture visualization because the sort of things that come up from that and, and they, they, they do brain scans as well. I mean, it, it's it's amazing if you do half an hour, say, worth of Wim Hof breathing. It's hard to do by yourself because you sort of almost lose track of it after a while. But they, they've done brain scans with people doing things like this. And the energy which comes, the, the parts of the brain which are active, are it's, it's almost a whole brain. And you wow. get into states which are um, vastly more than monks, which sit on the top of mountains meditating day after day after day, because they did brain scans on them as well. And it, it's all part of the things that you know, a number of these incredible people like Wim Hof are looking at. And in those altered states, that's where you get these epiphanies. It's like, ah. Oh, okay yeah this is what i'd need to do with my career or this is this is that next step for myself and or all, yeah yeah so yeah. i absolutely do and uh, i mean uh, most of my clients still use it on a daily basis for be it five minutes or um and also i, I love it so much at the moment i'm actually um you know training up people to do to try and recreate and we, we've been talking around this as well um you know recreate the five hours of breathing that i had that incredible almost full reboot i would say within five sort of what 90 minute or one hour sessions just because the feeling that you get is incredible and and oliver when you so you spend four or five hours walking up in this group up a mountain in poland you you have no shirt on mm. you're just wearing shorts a hat and some mountain boots what what's going through your mind over that time period or do you get into a place of flow where you're not thinking at all and I'm it's that that altered state that i was talking around before that the breathing gives you if you do it quite a lot you just you you go off to a flow state um and you 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 can feel it you can feel oh my goodness this is so so insanely cold i mean it, it's like in january or december when you go out and you don't wear a coat and within five minutes you feel it's just unbearable but that was nothing compared to this so it's there's something around that flow state as as you and one gets into and part of it training part of it tribe part of it determination and yeah it was bizarre despite the fact it was so painfully cold um you sort of rise above that and you just keep going and there was no point where i was like i'm not going to better do this everyone made it up there and we're talking around there was a couple of people that had really you know they had immune um deficiency you know they had illnesses um, oh, wow. and they were going up there and actually wim hof um a, a number of years back took um a number of people who had everything from severe cancer through to very um, uh, sort of complicated immune diseases. And he took them all up Kilimanjaro in um, it's about 36 hours, I think. So right. immunity wise, um, this is this is all quite powerful stuff. Um, and it's, it's difficult, I think, from for someone like Wim Hof, because a lot of this is blocked by pharmaceutical companies. Mm. Um, because you can get some pretty good results on this that one would get from taking a number of medications uh, that one might take for stress or or other things so mm. wow. so do you do you, do you, um i'm just wondering if the people watching want us to jump into because i think we're kind of talking around something and maybe it'd be great for people to experience it i love it okay why why not you know but, um, but actually it was one of the things because i said i've been on this quest for years to find really powerful techniques and actually at the time i was really quite upset with it when i came across it because it was really quite simple i was i was thinking that it, whatever it was that i found that was going to be this sort of really powerful tool was going to have to be really quite complicated it was going to but this is just really really laughably simple um so yeah let's let's dive in so first of all step one actually before we go into anything yeah. let um do some setup so what I would say is this is not a good idea to do if you're driving or anything like that. So please, if you are following this, 
uh, sit down somewhere uh, or lie down, but be in a really comfortable, safe place. Also, if you've got um, any underlying health issues that you're really worried about, please, you know, use, use your own judgment with this. Um, so also it's important to know that you breathe much deeper when you do this and it infects people in different ways. So just make sure that you're within um, somewhere safe, as I said. And if you're doing this by yourself, stick to the recommended sort of 40 breaths uh, that they say. Um, you know, um, also with it as well, you know, not that we have to worry about going to the office at the moment, but that's one thing that it, it's not the easiest thing to do, as you'll see in a moment, in a crowded room of people. However, actually, um, I digress slightly. Um, two months ago, there was someone having a panic attack and screaming on the train to let me off and pushing through people and desperately clawing at the door. And I went up to them in front of everyone on the train and did the Wim Hof technique with her. And but in the end, we were both sitting on the floor and she said she had not felt so peaceful and calm for a very long time. But it was pretty nerve wracking because everyone was looking at us thinking, what is he doing with this woman? And what is this woman crazily trying to get out of the train? So anyway, I digress. Good. Good work, that, that's I'm very <laughs> of, a, of an interesting event. Yeah. So it can be used if you're feeling stressed and claustrophobic on trains, too. Um, yeah. So, 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 so anyway, um, what, what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, I'm going to say 40 breaths today. Let's do 40, but we're going to take some rather, rather deep breaths. Mm -hmm. So when one is doing this, a good way to do it, just to sort of get into it, is just put one hand on the stomach, just undo my, 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 my shirt and my, my coat, uh, waistcoat. Um, and then you'll feel your, you want the air to go into your stomach first. So it's, and then you'll feel it in the chest afterwards. So it's stomach, chest, and almost breathing in as much as you can. So you can almost feel the oxygen coming up to round about here, almost the head. So it's stomach, chest, head. So just try that a couple of times. So it's, and then you're just relaxing. So when you deep breath out, you don't have to do anything. You just, just let it out. So it's stomach, chest, head. And actually, it's quite fun to get a bit of a kick tonight. So why don't we go breathing through the mouth? It doesn't look so graceful, but it gives an added uh, impact to it. So just practice a couple of times. You don't have to put your hand on your stomach and your chest while we're doing the main breathing. But it's just to get into that rhythm. Almost imagine that as you're breathing in, it's like this water splashing on, um, on the beach. And then as you're breathing out, just let it just gradually go down. So it's stomach, chest, head. Oh, we're breathing in our mouth over oh, here. Yeah, really through the mouth, why not? So you'll feel a stomach expand and you'll feel a chest expand. And already you might even start to feel a little bit lightheaded just from doing that. So literally is all we're going to do. We're going to do that 40 times. I'm going to time it. I'm going to walk you through. But then when you've done the 40th breath, you breathe in. So you've done that 40th breath. And then you just let it out. And then you just close your eyes and just sit there. It, without breathing and you'll probably hold your breath for longer than you've ever held it before but we're just going to do say 60 seconds today okay and then we're going to take another breath and so you're not sitting there going purple when you need to breathe breathe you don't have to do it for a minute so after you've been sitting there in that nice relaxed meditative state you're going to take another breath and you're just going to hold it for 15 seconds and that's the basic Wim Hof technique so just in super summary it's 40 deep breaths stomach chest head on the 40th breath you breathe out so all of the breath outs just just relaxing into it and when you do that breathe out you just sit there in a meditative state no breathing nothing and just relax and then when you need a breath you'll take a breath and then you'll hold it so that's what you're saying the whole time and you yeah we're, today let's breathe through the mouth uh, but you can breathe through the nose or the mouth so it's whichever way uh, you want to do it 
So, um, and only other thing to say, which can be worth just doing, is just check your stress level at the moment. How, how is everyone feeling? So give yourself a marker now. So imagine 10 out of 10 is you are feeling absolutely awesome. Number one is feeling really quite stressed. It's been a crap, it's been a really rubbish day at work. You're feeling bad. So just give yourself a marker before it because it's quite fun just to see how you're, how things change after doing one rep. I'm giving myself a six. So let's see where we go. I love it. <laughs> Just so we're <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, so are we all ready to go? Can't hear you, but I'm assuming you're all saying yes. So take those 40 breaths, go with my timing. I won't do all of the breaths. Sometimes I'll be talking at the same time. So just keep in that timing and I'll say everything is all you need to do is sit and listen. Let's do this. Okay. So breath one. So it's fairly quick. Stomach, chest, head. Release. Stomach, chest, head as much as you can. Release. Stomach, chest, head. Release. Really getting that rhythm. Release. Release, Ted. Stomach, chest, head. So you're probably already starting to feel the buzz. Starting to feel a little bit lightheaded, but just breathe into whatever sensation you're feeling. And then stomach, chest, head. Release. Stomach, chest, head. Release. Breathing in as fully as you can. 15 down already. Feeling that electricity, feeling that energy, the fingers might be buzzing. It's quite intense, but just breathe into it. Relax. Release. Stomach, chest, head. Really start feeling that energy buzzing around. Stomach, chest, head, relax. Stomach, chest, head, breathing into the most intense experience you're having and relax. Relax. So we do 10 more breaths. Stomach, chest, head, and relax. 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 Just five more breaths. So three more breaths. Penultimate breath. Last breath. Breathing in, breathe out. Close your eyes and just completely relax. Nothing to do, just close your eyes and relax. So your O2 has completely increased. Your CO2 has gone down. Your pH level, you've changed your chemistry whilst doing this. Your pH level's gone up, you're more alkali. You've tapped into your own central nervous system. And that leads up to the end, the brain stem, the pituitary glands, the hypothalamus, and this, the pituitary, uh, the pineal gland releases a whole load of adrenaline when it thinks you're in a dangerous situation. Well, and you're not normally able to get into this due to the shallowness of your breath. And you're in your reptilian brain, but you're doing this voluntarily. And this links you into the endocrine system that releases a whole load of positive chemicals. And then that allows you to go into that rest and digest and boosting the immune system. So you've done 60 seconds. So take that breath. 
and just hold it and just be. And then breathe out and just relax. And that's it. Whole minute you've held your breath for and feels quite intense. Sometimes, I mean, I almost find, and uh, we probably don't have enough time for it tonight, I almost find if you do it for that second time, you go a lot deeper because you're thinking about it more in your first time. But yeah, have a consider, how are you all feeling now? If you were on a, say, six like Evelyn, how, how are you feeling at the moment? I, I honestly, I feel amazing. I didn't want to open my eyes. <laughs> uh kate says woo okay that's great she said that felt amazing um i don't know what everyone else found but i think kind of the tw around the 20 breaths i was starting to get you know the buzz that you were talking about mm. and yeah it, it, i feel amazing now honestly we should have done this right before the um right before we went on air <laughs> yeah yeah really so get us in a nice relaxed place i, I actually did but uh yeah <laughs> I'm going to do the next time for sure. So, Ollie, just to summary, so it's 40 deep breaths. It's inhaling through the mouth, and then you sort of you it just can be mouth or nose. If you want to make it more relaxed, you can do it through the nose, and it's such a beautiful in um, way to get yourself ready for meditation, um, or before or after. It's really great for that as well. Through the mouth, I'm just writing. But what we do is we summarize the key points in an email mm. afterwards. So we have them here. Um, so 40 inhales through the mouth or the nose and then one last like very long inhale that you then hold, and that, then hold. that's awkward but i can send all of that i can send you the details on it oh yeah okay yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so so ollie in terms of i mean what what people at home what they want is practical sort of ways that they can use this give me examples of ways that you use this i mean you know obviously before stressful situations or to wake yourself up in the afternoon but um give me a few examples of of the difference that this has made in your life as well i'd love to hear or or your clients yes i mean as i said um you know things like the migraines that was a huge thing for myself because i'd be out for two or three days with those migraines and particularly found the moment that I feel and I would take some pretty hardcore drugs to one well, hardcore, but, you know, pretty powerful painkillers to deal with that because I'd be out of it for a couple of days. Um, but the moment that I notice it coming, I start with the breath. I have a cold shower and it really um, pushes, pushes that um that through i mean i've had had clients that with sort of presentations um they'd almost be having pan attacks when they panic attacks when they were going just before they'd go on stage they'd go and do that uh not uh, on the side they'd quickly go to the bathroom beforehand do that and then come and they said that made a huge impact um for themselves and on their stress levels um, I particularly love it if you want to change from having a really stressful work, you know, where you're at, to just relax for the evening. It's really, really nice way to shift in to, to sort of consciously say, now this is the time I'm going to be um, relaxing. Um, and for creativity, it's absolutely phenomenal. So if you're in one of those places, and it's I put it like a Friday afternoon and you've said, oh, I've got this afternoon. Um, I'm going to use Friday afternoon to do something really creative that I've been wanting to do for ages. I'm going to get all these ideas and then it's all going to go into a work project. You get to Friday afternoon and you've worked so hard throughout the week. You're completely spent and you're just not with it at all. And you're like, oh, I felt so creative about three days ago. And you do this. It wakes you up and yeah particularly um i'll ask myself a couple of questions for example if, I, if i've got a really sort of um important thing that i'm preparing for i'll ask myself those questions and i'll just do some wim hof breaths i'll do this two or three times and then afterwards either things will come up whilst i'm doing it and i'll be writing them down um but it really sort of helps you alter that state into a more creative place as well and this seems like a very basic question but as i was going through it i was thinking how do you keep um if i'm doing this on my own or the people at home are, are doing this on their own you just really count to 40 
Um, um, you're, you're, I'm, I, I'm um, generally um, very, I like to take the route of least resistance. So I just go onto YouTube and go for a guided session. So you can just put in Wim Hof, oh, okay. uh, guided um, three rounds, and yeah, just just follow that. And I, I give that, you know, to, to give that guided thing to all oh, my top ones to uh, anyone I come into contact with. So yeah, just so they can oh. don't think about it too much. But it's easy to find. What what is it? We we'll put the link in the um, in the chat box afterwards, and we'll send it in the email as well when we follow up. But what does your typical day look like in terms of what? Just kind of talk us through how you use this. It'd be interesting to know from a daily habit perspective. I know oh, you're big from, from, from a daily habit. So yeah, I mean, if we start sort of looking at the morning routine, um, and in fact, I was talking, I, I was building this up a sort of biohacking morning routine for someone this morning actually. Because uh, I sort of referenced them earlier, they were like, "I cannot. Just mornings just do not work for me." And I want to do exercise. I have the, I have, you know, have these really good ideas about exercise, and then it just doesn't happen. And I stay in this half zombified state. So, as I said, I like the root of least resistance. So I will wake up. Um, I'll try and beat the children up, and then I'll go straight into the Wim Hof breathing because it's by far the easiest thing to do. It's nice and relaxing. So I'll do that for five to 25 minutes, just depending. But normally I don't have a huge amount of time. So I'll do it from five to 15 minutes. Off the back of that, I'll go for a five to 10 minute meditation. I then um, think it's, uh, well, I mean, a lot of my biohacking on the exercise routine. I do about 45 minutes of exercise a week, but I do it seriously, strategically. So I'll then do five minutes worth of kettlebell swings and push-ups back to back so proper hit you come out of those four minutes and you feel like you are absolutely destroyed so we're talking about 28 kilogram kettlebell then push-ups kettlebell but it only takes four minutes and that does some pretty incredible things for one's physique and it means that then when you eat afterwards your body is ready to digest in a much more efficient and powerful way so i would i tend to add four minute of hit so it's at its most basic it would be a four minute wim hof uh, a sort of probably five minute meditation, four minute um, hit exercise, because then that sets the whole, all of these things set your circadian rhythms up. They yeah. really um, energize you. Then after that, it's a four minute shower. I mean, it's one of the great things. Um, everything I, I do is very much. This sounds like, you know, anybody can do this basically, even if you. Yeah, but the, the, the easiest way to do it is start with the thing that you like the most. So um, I generally don't think, yay, I'm going for a cold shower or yay, I want to throw the 28 kilogram kettlebell about. So I always start with the Wim Hof, then go on to the meditation because that's nice. It gets you into the like Sam Harris is brilliant for that. I'm sure Will talked around that in, in his uh, session. Um, and then you go into I mean, actually, I do four minutes of yoga as well, because that then helps me uh, with with just some, a couple of stretches. Um, but then I do the hit and then it's a four minute cold shower. And that's one of the great things around a cold shower because I haven't had a warm shower for a very long time. It's very quick. It saves you time. You certainly don't get stuck in the shower for uh, <laughs> half an hour. You certainly don't have that. But, um, you know, but, but once again, you don't have to go straight into jumping into the Thames, climbing ice mountains, the health benefits and pretty much 80, 90 percent of the top health benefits you can get from this um just two minutes of cold but you start with 30 seconds you're still getting some really great benefits from that but yeah and you 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 almost stack those five things together can do them in about 25 minutes um and yeah i mean it's actually changed a lot of my clients lives from stacking those things together in relation to their efficiency in the morning their energy levels um what just there because all of those things release a fabulous fabulous cocktail of chemicals that get you in more creative states that get you in more focused states that just make you feel better if you're getting a whole hit of serotonin and dopamine in the morning um yeah so the, so th those are some of the things i will often sort of um get get my my clients to sort of do practically for that morning morning part 
Um, so, so, I mean, from what I'm understanding, biohacking, it, as you're saying, it doesn't need to be extreme. It's really about being efficient. It's about saving time, but still getting maximum impact from. It's Yeah, so it's very much about knowing the science behind the body. So, for example, um, I do 45 minutes of exercise a week and I stay very, very trim because it's all, you know, I, I, I read pretty much every single one of the top exercise experts books. And what I came up with was just this, you only need to do it really for 45 minutes. I mean, you look at these top people like um, Ben Greenfield and you can get such incredible results from just 45 minutes by knowing how the body works. So for example, my exercise rating regime, which is actually under 45 minutes, consists of four, four minute kettlebell and push-ups. And that's on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that's 16 minutes. And it's got all those benefits I've talked about. It also makes you ridiculously powerful because you keep sizing up the kettlebell when you get used to the that kettlebell and you can do it easily you keep sizing it up um and then is what i do as well is for example um how the sort of physiology works it's like if you would you take us back because everything's based on the olden days physiology we have you take us back to caveman time if we're chased by a saber-toothed tiger we will run very very quickly seriously as quick as we have ever ran and if we survive our body for about a week to two weeks afterwards will build up a load of additional muscles to to make sure we can run at that speed much more easily oh i, I never heard that before so the beauty of this is with my exercise regime is you only need to do speed and strength exercises once a week to retain this really good level of speed and this really good level of strength so in relation to the speed and it's both of these are quite vomit inducing i'm, I'm not going to lie but the sprint one i will go to the local park for 15 minutes and run as fast as i can for 20 seconds then have a 40 second jog fast as i can for 20 seconds but it's only 15 minutes but how quick i am now and it's only once a week but you retain that speed you retain that o2 max and it's the same with strength as well mm. you can do five exercises be it chest press pull-ups and you do them really really slowly and you've only got to do it for like 90 seconds those exercises i also do sort of pull as well you can do it in the gym but at, at the moment people don't have the gym so i have a big weighted jacket and you just do it really, really slowly for 90 seconds so you don't get injuries and you just keep gently raising the weight so you get stronger and stronger over the time. And the moment you can do it slowly for 90 seconds, you put up the weight again. And I do it with squats as well. And that exercise is those five exercises nine times, which is another nine minutes. So it's only 15 minutes plus nine minutes plus the 16 of the hit exercises i do so it's only 45 minutes and it gives you such a brilliant base for power strength and speed um and then if you want to do other exercises then you can do it on top of it but there's a lot of research now that going out there and doing a, a marathon really isn't very good for you if you're thinking around longevity mm. um so that's also the other thing around biohacking it's right okay great least amount of time maximum impact best for longevity because i mean you know we we've, we've talked gently around this stuff I, I really don't ever intend to stop i want to be helping and working people working with people until i'm in my 90s mm. so i'm really keen for any techniques that just yeah really help with longevity as well and oliver just to sort of round up we've just got a few more minutes but just just to sort of summarize mainly the, the climate that we're in now obviously mm. people are concerned about their immune health if someone was asking you right now, what can what can it just a normal person do if they're just focused on using some of what you've mentioned around biohacking, the Wim Hof technique? What what would you recommend they do on a daily basis um, to? Now is such an amazing time for this because we're at home. We haven't got so much commute time, so building up those really cool morning routines. Mm -hmm. um, 
is great. So I would say just put aside, find some of these things that you like, be it the breathing, be it the cold train, just, I mean, experiment with them, see which of these things has the biggest impact and then just create different levels. So I have different levels. Sometimes if I've got an incredibly busy day, I might only have 15 minutes. I might only have 10 minutes. I might only have five minutes, but I will do the most impactful thing for me. And that will involve trialing and testing them and then working out your own, depending on how much time you have. But at the moment, you should have more time because there's not so much commuting. So if you could dedicate 25 minutes each morning to doing one Wim Hof, one cold shower, one hit exercise, um, four minutes of stretching and maybe a four minute yoga, um, so a, a four minute or five minute meditation. Just getting those things in, seeing what really works for yourself um, is fabulous. And then during the day as well, when you're feeling tired, because you're not no longer in the office, no one's going to think anything of it. If at 2 p.m. you jump up and, and start doing some four minutes worth of whatever it is, push ups and something else in the garden, these things that just wake you up, make you more creative. So it's yeah, a really good opportunity to experiment and find out what works best for yourself has the biggest impact and start building these things into routines around the day and see how they impact your focus, see how they impact your energy. Um, so yeah, probably what I would recommend. Great. Well, Oliver, thank you so much. Um, I feel like honestly, this, this is coming at a fantastic time. I've seen Wim Hof a lot and you've, you showed me the breathing. I think about, it was about 18 months ago. I was incredibly stressed. I remember that. Um, and, uh, but but right now, it, for me particularly, it seems like this is an ideal time that I, I will be incorporating this into my routine because um, the confinement part of this is is becoming more and more challenging, I'm finding. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, just to everybody watching as well, um, obviously, we are from Seven Career Coaching. If you are interested in working with Oliver, um, there's a call to action below. You can book a discovery call um, with our team and speak to one of our team about what it's like to work with us, talk through the framework or approach. We have over 30 expert career coaches that we and executive coaches that we match depending on your needs and your circumstances. Um, so feel free to, to, um, to, to book in if that is of interest. And if not, we've got loads more webinars coming up. So do keep an eye on our webinar events page. We're speaking to experts. We're hopefully gonna have Oliver in a panel discussion, the quarantine panel um, sessions, we're calling it. So um, we that, that will be coming up in the next few weeks and have a few experts talking on, I think we're looking at the, how to join the gig economy for people who need to transfer their skills in a digital way. So um, that, that could be something interesting coming up. But thank you, everybody. I have uh, fantastic comments from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Anna. And thank you, Rachel. And thank you, Kate. Um, great to get all of your comments. And thank you, Oliver. Yeah, really thank awesome you. to have, uh, And yeah. Pia. <laughs> they're, all, they're all hanging in now. That's good to see. <laughs> have a fabulous evening. Great. Take care, Oliver. Thank you, guys. Uh, good luck with the breathing. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>